Ooh. this one. Ooh. I I love the smell of cow poo. <laughs> I think I need to get further back from, I need to get further back from them and paint them from a distance, but sort of zoom in. So this is our hay bale. I think I've changed my mind about the direction I want to paint in and the reason is painting this way is going to make it much easier for me to separate the lights and darks because of where the sun is and facing the sun this way and I think it's going to be more interesting so I can just pick everything up and move it let me just go and check some boxes just make sure I get locked down this composition what's about this tractor turns into this field now we're good This looks weird at the minute because I drew in my hay bale. I wasn't happy with the proportions and where I'd done it. So I'm just redrawing it over that drawing. But in my head, in my plan, I know that this is all gonna be painted over. time a tractor comes past I think it's going to turn in and tell us off for being on the field we're not causing any harm are we it should be really nice if this works out the way that I'm planning it because I mean despite the sun being in my eyes because of all the light glistening off the hay it should come to look really lovely just hope it works out What if they actually take the hay bales? 
So this is interesting. I'm seeing blue in the hay bale and I, I didn't expect that. Didn't know what to expect when it came, but there's definitely blue in there and I've just given a nice confident stroke of blue and I'm gonna work into that and see whether the colors add up. James and I have just been discussing where we paint. Uh, obviously it's, a, it's, it's the end of summer now, so it's still quite warm outside, even in the UK. Um, but yeah, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do when it gets cold? What, what do you guys at home do when it's cold? Let us know in the comments, because um, we could do with some advice. I don't wanna paint in the cold. <laughs> Or the, the snow might be nice, actually. One big thing that I'm realizing is I always put far too much paint out. I know it's good to have a lot on there so that you don't have to be, you know, work thinly, but I feel like I could make a lot more use of these paint tubes. Something to think about. Every day is a school day. I'm always learning something new. Said we might use the palette knife today. Looks like today's the day. Yeah, I don't I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm trying it on, on the actual easel. Yeah, maybe. It's worth trying. Let's just go for it before I change my mind. And this is just so that I can get that straight line of that telephone pole. Um but it's I, I don't know. I don't know how to use a palette knife. This is experimental. <laughs> So it may not work. Mm. Something's there. <laughs> it's a very thin line. Let me let me try it again. It's better. Okay. I'm happier with that. So for the wires. My plan was to use the back of the paintbrush, um, but I've never tried it on canvas. It works on wooden board, on panel, because it's flat, but it might not work here, so we might end up having to actually sketch the lines in. It should be fine. Screw it, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint over it and do it differently.
this scene that we've painted is actually over there. We've turned the, the canvas round uh, because the sun is setting over there, so it's lighting it up for you. Um, really enjoyed painting this. Again, it's like every time I get out into nature uh, and paint, I learn something new or I get past one of the barriers that I've not been able to get past before, uh, which is why we're encouraging you to do the same. Um, so thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe. <laughs>